Spaceman donated $9.99 through Super Chat. I get paid tonight anyways. Spaceman donated $9.99 through Super Chat. Imagine not knowing the point of this show. Real Kino Hours Stand Up.
Jeremy Power donated 5 Canadian dollars through Super Chat. We love you Michael. Hello subscribers and other came up here, uh, brought all my equipment in my station wagon. He had a little trouble coming up. The ignition went out and he had to push the car off. And he had a flat tire and he had to had a blowout. He had to change the tire. I didn't think I was gonna make it. Fuel your greatness with Gatorade's proven formula to help you reach your goals. Do you think you're gonna make it? Well, I'm 26 and I've waited around for three or four years and I keep waiting around. I said, well, if I, if I don't try it, what have I got to lose? If I don't try it, then I'm gonna regret it later. And if I do try it and don't make it, well, I know I've tried. That's all I can do. And I felt like this convention was the only time that I could come up and get as much exposure without having to go to every door and knock on every door and more or less beg for somebody to help you out. This is my pride and joy here. That's my guitar. This is called my racket box. This is my mixer. Gives you a little echo. This is the littlest drummer in the world, I believe. He's very unique, has a lot of different sounds. And believe it or not, he's the leader of the band. I follow him. Oh yeah, my bass player. He's under the secret combination here. It sticks. You have to kind of pull it hard to get it up. There you go. Now this is the lowest bass player in town, I believe. <laughs> Real low. This is my suitcase. Where are you staying, by the way? Well, that's supposed to be. Uh, if I don't run into somebody that could help me out, I guess I was going to have to sleep in the car. Have you written any songs? Yes, I have 15 songs that I was hoping to get some people to listen to. Do you have one around? I mean, can you read yeah, one I've got a couple. Uh, this is one I wrote not too long ago. This is called I Am Herbie. This is sort of a takeoff of a song using a few of my own words. and. I am an empty pocket, I'm a worn out shoe, I ruined everything I ever tried to do. I'm a broken bottle, I'm a fallen star, doesn't anybody need an old used car. I'm a burned out candle, I'm a broken toy, I hear cheers of laughter from every girl and boy. All I am is wasted, I live a life of pain, never any sunshine, all I see is rain. Hard luck, Herbie. You all know me. I've lived in every town. I never seem to get a break. I just get kicked around. And I don't intend to give up. I intend to make it. I may be 10 years from now, maybe out there a long time, but maybe I won't make it. But I have confidence that I will, and I'm going to try. Mind underscore at underscore bay donated two dollars through super chat. So sad. Hi. I'm Rem. This is Herbie Howell. Come on over. Just Herbie. met him a few minutes ago. Nice to How see you. How do you do? I thought maybe you could... Let me introduce you to Mr. Shelby Singleton. Hi, Herbie. How are you? And Mr. John Singleton. John, Hi, Herbie. Pleasure nice to meet you. And uh, Mr. Singleton's Singleton. son, Steve, Steve Singleton. Hi. Mr. Singleton is uh, president of SST Records. And... Well, what do you do? Do you write and sing or what? Uh, I brought up 15 songs. I was hoping to get somebody to listen to them. Uh, you have a guitar with you or something? Yeah, I've got a uh, bass. It's Marvin and Bruce with electronic drums and a bass I play with my feet. I'll need a stool to sit on so I can play the beat bass while I play the guitar. Uh -huh. And then I've got a side and drum and sort of a one-man band. I call them Marvin and Bruce the Invisibles. I see. Why doesn't he set up and Is play for you? Well, I, you know, yeah, yeah, if I could set up and play, I would, you know, just uh, over there somewhere it'd be fine. Okay. That way, okay, let's try it. Down. Let's try it. So, okay. Okay. Can I pull my car? No. Leave it where it's at because the ground's soft here. Oh, okay. Okay. Do you, you often get uh, people like that coming up here? Yeah, most of the time I don't listen to them. 
Really? Why? I just don't have time. You know, it's, um, I would say, probably a thousand a week come through Nashville looking for recording contracts. What percentage ever make it? Uh, probably one one hundredth of one percent. What do you think is going to happen to a kid like that? You never know. Sometimes they become stars. Sometimes they uh, just go back home and end up writing songs all their life and nothing ever happening to them. Uh, here. <laughs> yeah, you got something like plugged in? Where is it? You, you need to make it hot, right? Yeah. I wonder if I can get a stew. Great, they have a stew like a barn. Glass of water. They got any water around on the stew? Seem to get anybody to lend me a stool to sit on. You reckon there's a box around here? What about a piece of firewood? What's that today? You gotta have something so I can stand up and move my feet. Nashville is constantly besieged by newcomers. Here's a fellow that drove all night and came up for an audition this afternoon. Herbert, what's your last name? Howell. And where did you drive from? Augusta, Georgia. So why did you want to come to Nashville? Well, this is something I've always wanted to do and I've always put it off and I felt like that if I was ever going to do it, then now was the time. Here we go with one call, come and stay with me. Come and stay with me till the morning sun shines its light on us and finds that we are one. Come and stay with me, darling, one more time. Give me a memory when you leave me behind. We'll grieve when we met, someday we'd part with no regret. But there's pain in my soul for the ones that I can't hold. Till the end of time, you're gone away, you won't be mine. So come and stay with me tonight. Come and stay with me till the morning sun shines its light on us and finds that we are one. Cheers for Herbie. Yeah. A couple questions we're going to ask. First of all, you, are, you live in Augusta now. Right? Yeah. You married? Yeah. You have a family? Two kids. Uh -huh. What would your wife say if you would happen to become a star and you had to travel? Well, that's yeah. already been settled. Oh, yeah? I've already decided to start traveling. I see. Until I get a break. You have the determination you want to be a star. Right. In other words, uh, I'm not going to give up. I'm going to work at it and I'm going to be that even if it takes 15 years. Well, why don't you do this? Why don't you come by our office tomorrow and then we'll sit down and talk to you further about this. Okay. So we can develop something. Okay. Well, about noon pleasure. tomorrow. Okay. Well, okay. Right. Okay. Okay, Herbie. Sit down and tell us what happened. <laughs> what happened? Well, a lot happened. I must say it's like a dream come true. Uh, believe it or not, uh, I got a contract. Well, it's not to believe. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't believe it, would you? Well, Shelby Singleton wants me to come by and pick up the contracts tomorrow. And uh, I'm supposed to go by and sign a management contract with Paul. And things are looking great. <laughs> That's what, what I've been waiting on, you know. You said you were going to call your wife. You Seems like now's a good time since she wasn't Ancient last Oracle night. donated $1.99 <laughs> so, like through Super Chat. Eight, nine, You're six, such four, a badass, nine, Rocket. Okay. Hello, Vicky. 
Oh, is that you? Oh. Well, get, listen, listen. I got something to tell you. What? <laughs> I, you so excited. <laughs> I've got three contracts. You, you, you believe me? Well, don't, don't tell nobody. I don't want to tell them, okay? Is it true, though? <laughs> I don't know. Listen, listen. I want to tell you something. You won't believe what I'm doing right now. I'm making a film. <laughs> I'm making a film now. I left that out. These these people that I met from New York, uh, they were coming down to make a film. And it, it's a long story, but just to make it short, I fit. I must have fitted the part. They were looking for somebody who was coming to town that was trying to make it, and I guess that they wanted to use somebody like that, and then use somebody that already made it, like Jeannie C. Riley. And here I am, and they film me. And I'm talking to you. And I just can't believe they are from New York, Ned. No, I'm telling the truth. It's gonna be a film. I'm in Nashville. She doesn't believe a word he says. How, how did I call? She don't believe me. She thinks that this is a joke. How did I call her straight if I'm in Nashville? Well, you want somebody to tell you that it's true? So, somebody tell her it's true. Tell her, Nigel. Hello. Hi. My name's Nigel. And it's absolutely true what your husband says. We're right here, we're filming, there's a camera opposite your husband, and I'm the sound man, and I have a microphone in my hand, and uh, it's really true, it's all happening. And I'm going to give you back to your husband now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you can't believe, what are you crying for? I had not cried. <laughs> you, you're so happy you can't stand up. <laughs> well, don't cry. Oh, okay, I love you too. Bye-bye. Oh, bro. <laughs> I left Augusta not knowing what I'd find But I had already made up my mind One chance in a million to find the right door This is the way it started Listen, I'll tell you more sweetest guy as you could see he was kind and he was gentle and i hoped he was good enough good enough in nashville is off the charts great as any of you who watched ken burns series on pbs on country music know nashville is the center and the best of the best are the only ones who really make it he didn't make it i think he tried for 10 years he returns to augusta georgia he has a couple of kids he teaches kids guitar i think he taught about three thousand kids and then in 2015, he died in a nursing home. Um, I didn't keep in touch with Herbie Howell, and I should have. 
One of my flaws as a documentary filmmaker is I always went on to the next movie. Caucasus and I never Prime went back. donated four dollars and ninety-nine cents he tried through so Super hard. Chat. Charles sure, Manson had some good music too. Can you play his funky monkey song? Of Herbie, but I was lucky too. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more, search the word country music on my YouTube channel. And if you'd like me to do more, maybe you could support me on Patreon. I'm www.patreon.com forward slash all in a day. Thank you again.